Hello, this is LJ Bothell, and this is a Microsoft Excel video about importing data from a database into a Microsoft worksheet slash workbook. And I'm using a file that's mostly empty here, and I just want to go through some basic steps that will hopefully help you out. And hopefully the steps will be fairly uniform between operating systems, but this is filmed in Microsoft Windows. So I have a single sheet up. I haven't named it here, but I'm going to... Uh, Put in a table. I'm going to call it table. There's nothing in there yet. And what I'd like to do is import some information from another location. And that happens to be data, data tab ribbon. And there is a get and transform data and queries and connections and data types groups in here. So what we want to do is go to the get and transform data and we want to get data. And you can actually point to some very specific things here. But what I'm going to do is just use the get data icon, click the drop down and see what we have choices of. Now the data I'm going to get is in a Microsoft Access database. So when I'm looking here from file, well, technically the Microsoft Access database is a database file, but that's not offered here. So I'm going to look from database. And Excel is equipped to bring it in from all sorts of common databases like MySQL, um, SysBase, Teradata, from um, Microsoft Access, from SQL Server, and so on. We're just going to do a basic Microsoft Access database. I'm going to click this, and the program is going to need me to find the database it needs to go into. Now, this happens to be in one of my folders where I'm doing um, files of steps for things, for activities for people to do um, in the chapters of, of the book of um, MS Excel Bootcamp. And there's already a database in here. It took me a long time to just say that, right? So this is the database. It's able to pull up, and I'm going to import this information. But it's going to go through kind of a wizard. So first I'm going to click Import. What will happen is it will kind of need to connect. Excel is connecting to this database and I have the database file, but you should not need to actually have the Microsoft Access database program to use this because this interface is being pulled up in Excel for you to work with within Excel. It is not going and looking at the navigator inside of Microsoft Access database program. So in here, what I'd like to do is I could I could pick up anything in here, but let's just grab for kicks the shipping table, see what's in it. So I'm going to click one table. Oh, look at this. I have a very little tiny table. I have a cat subcategory table. One of the things about a database is that you would actually make tables of limited amounts of information and then use queries to pair that information with other tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get customers because customers is the biggest table here. Now, transforming data is something we're not going to get into. This gives you the chance if you are more into data analytics and have a lot more um, comfort with Excel, like Power Query, Power Pivot, things like that. Well, all we're going to do is load this data into our workbook. So I'm going to simply click Load. I'm in the navigator, I click the table, decided, yep, this is the one I want. Click Load. Now what happens is that Excel actually brings it in as its own new tab and worksheet, and that's just fine. I can go ahead and copy and paste the information, put it over here into table, or I could come over and to the table customers, and I could simply add some rows. So I'm inserting some rows, and I could come back over here to this, and I could copy this information, excuse me, simply copy this information, go over to table customers and paste it in. And there we go. Then I could get rid of this other spreadsheet that I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And now we have table customers. And I'm just going to say, rename it customers table. There we go. So you, know, you notice I'm kind of doing a few extra things in here than you normally see, but it's also to help demonstrate the ease with which you can become comfortable with Excel to decide what you want. So this is going to be 
I don't know what uh, we'll just say customer data for 2022 and in here and I'm just going to make this so it looks a little nicer helps place everything as to what it is but what we're really interested in here is this table this came from a database and one thing that popped up automatically was a queries and connections panel. This pops up to indicate that this table of information, in fact, came from a different location rather than you typing it in or copying and pasting it from somewhere else. And it's indicated that wherever it came from, and it's a, it's a load status, load is to, data, to worksheet, um, data sources loading that probably will just keep circling that's not something you really need to worry about now but this is the table that was loaded in and the different column ID numbers and that 250 rows were brought in so that's the query from the database to bring it over here and then the connection there seems to be zero connections it's not really connected to anything per se but at the same time if I were to go over to access database and make some changes in the data, I could refresh this and some of the da uh, data would refresh in here. So let's take a look at what else we could do in here. We can hide this panel so we can close it or we can come back up here to our data tab and ribbon and click queries and connections and reopen it. We can also with this right click and see what can happen here. So we can rename this connection. There's really no use to doing a lot of this. You can um, delete the connection if you want, and it simply means that if you then go over to Microsoft Access Database and change something there, the change would not be able to be refreshed and, and, and selected over here. Another thing, let's, let's, let's find out. Look at this. We not only have the um, Table Design tab, that we can use so we can change the table to be any way we want it but we and, and of course you know take out the filter button and add a total row and all of that but we also have a table query because this is a query and this gives us a chance to go in if we want to merge some things or append data from another query we could export this to another place and so on we're not going to mess with any of this but uh, it, it is uh, interesting what I am going to do is come over here and say, you know, I really don't want this to be actively linked to an external database. So I'm going to delete and say, do I really want to delete the table customers? Well, it won't, shouldn't delete the table. It would delete the query, but let's verify. Right. So now we have no queries, no connections. We can close this. This information is no more linked to the access database, but the table is right here. So there you go. I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you.